Welcome to the e-learning platform by Science Park. So today we are going to learn about sound. This topic is from standard 6 and the current video is the part 1. Now let's see what we are going to learn in this video. Firstly, we will understand the different sounds that we hear every day. Then we'll see how sound is produced. And we'll know something about vibrations. Right. So, you see a few pictures here, right? Like for example, the first one is the girl singing. Then you see a bird chirping. You can see uh, some crackers, they are bursting a dog barking and the policeman whistling. Now these are some common sounds which you hear in your day to day life. Now can you classify these sounds into pleasant and unpleasant? That means of these sounds which one is pleasant and which one is unpleasant. Also, can you classify these sounds into soft and loud noises? Yes. So friends, you can actually make a table like this and you can write the particular term in front of the name of the sound. Like for example, the first sound is a girl singing and that all of you know is soft and it's very pleasant to hear, right? Likewise, you can note all the sounds you hear in your day-to-day -day life and you can classify them as soft, loud, pleasant and unpleasant. Now, here the question is how sound is produced. Now that I am also speaking and you can hear the sound, sound must be producing inside our body too. And if you hit anything, the sound is produced. So is it the same reason in both the cases? Well, let's see that. So friends, now we will see that how sound is produced. For that, here I have taken a metal cup and I have attached a rubber band to it like this. Now the rubber band is stretched. Now if I try to just plug this rubber band, just observe what happens. Can you hear some sound? Yes. Now I will show you another demonstration. Now here I have a dagga, a musical instrument on which I am pouring some sand and now just observe when I hit this dagga. Do you see the sand moving? When I hit this dagga you can hear the sound as well as can see these small particles of stand moving, moving vertically. Now the same you can observe in the case of metal cup. So here the rubber band is stretched and if when I pluck it, it moves to and fro. So we call these as vibrations and my dear friends due to vibrations these sounds are produced. Yes. So friends, here we have a cup and a rubber band attached to it as we saw. Now if I pluck it, just see how the vibrations are produced. So the rubber band goes up, then it goes down, then it again goes up and goes down and in the meantime it emits sound, it produces sound. 
so this to and fro motion of the rubber band is called as vibration and these vibrations produces sound now that may be from my body or it may be if i hit any object so if whenever you hear some sound it is produced because of vibration something is vibrating right and the object that produces sound are called as the source of sound okay so friends now i would like to look at the pictures so you see a sitar you also see water falling from the tap and you see a saucer now that saucer must be thrown to the ground so that it will break now in each of these three cases the first case being the plucking of sitar string then the water falling on the ground from the tap and the saucer breaking you hear different sounds right now as we have seen that anything that produces sound something is vibrating in that so in all these three cases what exactly vibrates can you think yes so friends we will look it at one by one now for example in sitar we plug the string the string vibrates but the sound is very loud it is quite different from the sound that we heard when you plug the rubber band attached to a club cup now the sound from the sitar is you know it's very pleasant and there are number of strings on that and you can see a structure on below the sitar in which air is filled now when you plug the string it is attached to that object and the air inside that object also vibrates and you actually hear the sound of that air vibrating right so when you plug the string the string vibrates and the air inside that object also vibrates and there are many such strings on sitar the dimensions of the strings are also different some are thin some are thick so when you plug the you know uh, typical strings you get different kinds of noises you can also change the length of the string which you are plucking so yes from this we come to know that whenever you pluck just pluck a string it does not produce sounds but if you change the length if you change the material if you change the thickness the sound will differ the sound will vary right similarly when water falls from the tap let's say for example a first a drop just falls on the ground so here you hear that typical voice of drop falling but you open the full tap water will just flow down and it will just hit the floor but in both the cases the sound you hear is different this is because of the quantity of water falling and it also depends on which surface the water is falling right now similarly it is the case with the saucer now generally all saucers make a typical sound but it does vary from saucer saucer to saucer because the material could be different the size could be different the saucer if it is falling on your floor of the home then the sound will be different if it is falling on any other object then it might sound different so basically what i want to tell you is these different sounds are produced by different objects vibrating at different speeds right 
okay now this is how the string looks in slow motion if it is plucked it just goes up then it just goes down so this is called as vibrations or these is these are called as vibrations the to and fro motion of anything right this is also called as periodic motion it goes periodically up and down right so let's summarize the session so we have seen different sounds in our day to day life and we classified them into soft and loud sounds or pleasant and unpleasant then we saw how sound is produced it is produced by vibrations and then we learned a bit about vibrations we saw an example of sitar in which we saw that if we change the length of the string we are plucking or we are vibrating the sound coming is different so sound depends on the length of the string which is vibrating and also the material the thickness of the string so friends here are some questions so kindly note these questions down in your notebook and write the answers to them thank you